Phoebe Crowley's. A little boy is woken in the middle of the night by seemingly nothing. He rubs his eyes with his hands like a drunkard experiencing a terrible hangover. Nothing appears to be out of order. All the windows are shut, and everything in his room is how he left it. Messy. The child attempts to sit up, but his pain, with the awful stomach cramps he has endured over the last several days, he decides instead to lie back down on his bed and wait for his parents to wake up. As he stares at the occasional spider webs, he's too lazy to clean off his ceiling. His stomach pains grow worse, even though he's lying completely still. Feeling a dull, sharp pain in his stomach. The boy gropes his tummy with his bare hands. He becomes nauseous, and the pain gets increasingly worse every second. Then, oddly enough, the pain stops. He feels a belch coming. The boy forces it up, hoping to release it, feeling better. But there was no noise, only the strange, unanticipated feeling of furry legs crawling up his throat. He gags, terrified and running for the bathroom as he feels something with prickly hairs crawling up his throat. He dry heaves over the toilet as the creature in his esophagus reaches his mouth. The boy feels many creatures bite his tongue and the back of his throat. Gagging, he spits it out, immediately disgusted and horrified. Several small, hairy spiders land in the toilet. The boy died sometime later in the hospital from an unknown venom. Most likely from a bite. From an arthropod of some kind. An autopsy was performed on the boy and found several small, spider sacs digesting in his stomach. The DNA of the eggs matched no known species of spider, though the genetic tests showed it was some form of spider. The most widely accepted theory was that the spider crawled into his mouth when he was asleep and laid her eggs inside him.